Hey everybody, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a wallet uh, within my Ether wallet and actually connect it via MetaMask, which is a uh, Google Chrome browser extension that uh, is a lot more secure than actually keeping it online. So the reason, obviously, you want my Ether wallet instead of uh, something like Exodus is because when it comes to ERC-20 compatible tokens, if you send them into Exodus, you don't see them directly. Uh, if you look through the blockchain explorer, you might be able to find them, but it's, it's just a little confusing and a little difficult. So as far as a lot of these new Ether-based tokens coming out, especially like the one uh, Digitex that's coming out in a couple of days, which is uh, based upon the Ether blockchain, you want to be able to put it within the, the, the MyEther wallet slash uh, MetaMask so you're able to view it, okay? So the first thing that I would recommend doing is going to download the, the MetaMask extension for Chrome. If you just Google MetaMask, you'll see it right here, MetaMask, which is in the Chrome Web Store. Click on that. Let's just add it to Chrome, add extension, and boom, it already installed. I'll just close that window. And then let's go click on the new extension, MetaMask, right here. It's just going to have you accept some privacy notices. Scroll down, accept. And it wants you to create a new password so you can get into this extension. And it's going to create 12 random words. So this is so that you can uh, you can basically restore your account, restore your wallet. If Chrome were to crash on your computer, or if your computer were to crash, or anything like that. So if you have these the specific uh, 12 words that are in that order, then you can recover it on another Chrome browser or anywhere else. So you can just save them as a file by clicking that, and it'll just download a CSV file, which you can open up with Excel. And once you've done that, make sure it's secure. Just hit, I've copied it somewhere else, blah, blah, blah. Perfect. So now what we can do is we can go over to myetherwallet.com. And enter a password for a new wallet, which will encrypt your private key. So let's just do something silly. Um, Again, this is, I'm not actually going to use this wallet, so I don't really care if you see the private keys and public keys because there won't be anything in there. So you just hit create new wallet. You want to save your JSON file right here. So just download it right there. Again, this is cryptocurrency. This isn't a bank, so you must always be sure to keep track of your own files and uh, anything like that because if you lose it, then then you, it's basically lost forever. That's just how it is because there's no central agency uh, keeping track of all this stuff. So always, always, always keep track of all of your files, all of your keys and everything like that and keep them in multiple locations and back it up just in case one of them were to fail. So once that's all done, hit I understand continue. It wants you to save your private key and all that stuff. But uh, we'll see all that within... Um, within Text the name within MetaMask. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's just hit save your address. How would you like to access your wallet? So, this is when you want to click MetaMask because MetaMask is already installed. And then we want to click connect to MetaMask. And it automatically verifies that uh, you are connected to MetaMask and you have the extension, right? So, if you were to look, this address right here that's connected to my ether wallet is the address that's within here so if you just click these three little dots let's just say view account on etherscan boom so this is the address right here ending in 3a13b 3a13b so it automatically interfaces metamask with with uh my ether wallet and the, the good thing about this is, is my Ether wallet, well, that's all online, so we don't all want it on there. Whereas MetaMask is its own secret encrypted extension within Chrome, so you're keeping everything there instead of directly on uh, 
my Ether wallet, right? And if you did want a, a paper version of this wallet or anything, then you could just always hit, you know, print paper wallet or anything like that. But you're all a MetaMask, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, so if you wanted to, let's just say, when the token sale is done, um, excuse me, when you when you want to buy for Digitex, right? You want to make sure you're sending the ether from the address that you want to receive the ERC twenty tokens for 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 Digitex. So you want to have to be able to you want to be able to send it from MetaMask. You want to be able to send it from here because this is also where you're going to receive the tokens for Digitex. So what you're going to want to do is send the ether from Coinbase, from Exodus, if you're holding it in there or anywhere else, to this address, this public address, and then it will automatically end up in my that my ether wallet address, which would obviously end up in your uh, MetaMask account, which your balance would be shown right in here. So when you actually are going to do the sale through Digitex, you can go through Send Ether and Tokens. Again, click to MetaMask again. And then now you're going to enter the address of wherever you want to send the Ether, the amount, uh, gas limit, just keep it the same, and then generate the transaction. And boom, it will go directly from my Ether wallet slash MetaMask to uh, whatever you're trying to invest in or send it to. So hopefully this tutorial was very helpful for you guys and gals. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Have an awesome day.